Hey, Delmar, Del, 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 Delmar Vikings, how are y'all doing today? Hopefully everybody's doing well, staying safe out there. Uh, we're back together again. This is Joseph Reese, your, your financial aid director. And we also have Kayla Lopez on the, on the call as well, which I'll shoot over to her in a second. Uh, your outreach coordinator. So definitely we're so excited to be with you again today to kind of go over some things regarding financial aid. First and foremost, we, we definitely want to encourage students to uh, start applying for I mean, uh, for your classes coming this spring. Uh, only reason being is because we want to make sure that all your financial aid is in place. We want to make sure you have enough uh, aid to cover your courses. So please, as best you can, meet with your academic advisors or look at your, your academic uh, plans to make sure that you're, you're getting the classes you need. And then check, check with financial aid. Make sure that that your classes are being covered, they're all part of your degree plan, because definitely we don't want any any uh, hold up uh, uh, when it's time for that tuition to get paid. So definitely, you know, we, we, we would love to, to hear from you uh, throughout this uh, segment. So we already have a question uh, in the queue and, and uh, it's asking, can you use your financial aid for a second Delmar certificate? So the students uh, is gonna be graduating in December, Hey, congratulations, that's awesome. That's great, you're getting that credential. And then they wanna come back and do some additional work. Uh, to answer that question, uh, yes and no. So, so it is possible, but definitely you wanna check with the financial aid office because we need to make sure that maybe you haven't uh, exceeded your maximum time frame for degree completion. We gotta see how many hours you've taken. Uh, we also gotta see how many hours uh, you're going to need to to get that second degree. So uh, it is possible, but I would definitely check with a financial aid office. Then we have another question. Uh, this student received a scholarship from the foundation, uh, half for the fall and the other half for the spring, uh, but it already but the student had already paid all their tuition and they transfer the money from the fall to the spring so that the whole scholarship will be used for the spring semester. That would be a question you would need to contact the foundation for. Uh, if, it, if it was up to me, I'd say no problem, but definitely don't want to step on anybody's toes. You want to check with the foundation who's the administer, administrator of those scholarships to make sure it, it could be possible. If not, just a little tip. If you get refunded that money, hang on to that refund and you can then apply uh, the fall portion to your spring tuition. So definitely keep those questions coming. Uh, and until then, I'm going to pass it over to Kayla for a few announcements. All right. Thank you, Joseph. So, guys, um, what I want to remind you guys about is your FAFSA application. So some of you may be starting school in the spring, and it may be your first uh, semester at Del Mar College. If so, welcome. We are really excited to have you. But one thing I want to remind you of is to complete your FAFSA if you have not done so already. We've been getting a lot of calls from students asking if it is too late, and the answer is no. It is not too late to complete your FAFSA application for spring, and we encourage you to do that at your earliest convenience. So what I'm going to do really quick is share my screen just so that I can show you what that FAFSA application looks like. So right here is the home page for the FAFSA. If this is your first time in college and you have never created an FSA ID before, you are going to want to do that first. And so what you will do is click start here. It will then take you to a screen where you will select I am the student. You will click create one when it says don't have an FSA ID. And then that will go ahead and take you to this page. You'll click get started. And then here you go, step one of seven to create your FSA ID. Now if you are a dependent student, which means you are um, for the most part under the age of 24, you will need to have an FSA ID for yourself and at least one parent in your household will need to have an FSA ID for themselves as well. If they already have an ID, they do not need to create another one. Maybe you have older siblings in school, uh, maybe your parents were in school themselves, they don't need to create another ID, they will be able to use that same ID. But again, you will need one and at least one parent in the household. If you are over the age of 24 and are considered an independent student, then only you will need an FSA ID. 
So you can go ahead and create that here. And when you are done, you will come right back to this login page, enter your FSA ID and password, click next, and then you will be good to go to start your application. Now for the spring, it is going to be the 2020 2021 FAFSA application using 2018 tax information. So make sure when you sit down and you're getting ready to start, you have your tax returns, um, your W-2s, all of that information for 2018. Now, this FAFSA application, the 2020-2021 application, is going to be good from uh, for your spring semester. And even if you're going to be attending summer, you'll be able to use that FAFSA um, to see what monies you are eligible to receive for summer one and summer two terms. If you plan on attending school in the fall, you are going to want to also do your FAFSA application for the 2021-2022 uh, 2022 school year. So you will be using 2019 tax information for that. And so just a heads up, when you log into FAFSA, it'll ask you, do you want to do 2021 or do you want to do 21-22? And so priority, if you're going to be attending in the spring, is going to be, of course, to get 2021 done. But you're also going to want to make some time to go back and already do your FAFSA for the 21-22 school year just so we can try to get you awarded early and you will be in the running for um, the best financial aid uh, package that we can possibly award you. And so again, this is what that page will look like. Again, it's studentaid.gov. You can put forward slash FAFSA and that will bring you directly to this page. So definitely make sure that you get started with that if you have not already. And with that said, I'm going to pass it back to Mr. Joseph. Thank you, Kayla. So, so definitely Vikings, uh, I can't stress enough to make sure that you are thinking about your, your spring schedule uh, right now because <clears throat> let, me give you, let me give you an example. Sometimes students will register for a class or, or, or meet with an advisor and that class isn't being covered. So sometimes there's a little work that needs to be done, like submitting a, fo uh, a change of uh, uh, course form with the registrar's office, or and, and that prolongs or that delays your financial aid. So we want to make sure that we don't have any of those. You know, definitely, you know, dealing with uh, what's going on right now, we we don't need any additional uh, stressors in our life. So we want to make sure that all your financial aid is being awarded in a timely manner making sure that it's uh, ready to go uh, on that tuition deadline. And maybe you may need to inquire to the financial aid office. You may need more money or you need additional help in the spring because maybe uh, you know you weren't awarded enough or, or how else you can uh, request some additional funds. So definitely it's important to register for those classes uh, as early as you can. Now, uh, you know, with that also being said, Sometimes a lot of students need to meet with their academic advisor, so that takes some time as well. So we, we don't want any, any holdups uh, in the spring because as we're moving forward, we wanna make sure that we are getting, uh, getting you the best service and getting you your aid in a, in a timely manner. Uh, also, we want to encourage you, if you have questions, email us your questions, uh, and Kayla will show you on the website here in a minute uh, you know, where you can email your questions. Also, you can contact us uh, directly to our, our main line uh, number, which is 361-698-1293. Uh, that is our main line. Uh, so definitely, you know, if you have questions, well, I want to register for this class or I need to make an adjustment to my, my courses, how is this going to impact my financial aid? It's so important um, for you to contact our office because it's better to be proactive than reactive. I think what happens is if we wait, then we have to react, okay, my money didn't pay, what do I need to do, who do I need to talk to, and definitely since there's a lot of remote work going on, uh, we, don't wanna, we don't want to uh, have any, any issues. Also, we want to encourage students, if you want some in-person help, you can always you know, come uh, at the Harvin Center. We have some availability, uh, usually Monday through Thursday uh, from, from 7.30, until five o'clock. If you need some one-on-one -on -one help, you can request that and someone in the office uh, safely and, and per to protect you and protect us. We'll make sure that we can meet with you one-on-one -on -one if you have some questions or you need some help completing that FAFSA or you got some you know questions like that. Also, Kayla's really awesome about having one-on-one uh, -on -one, uh, virtual meetings with students if they have questions about their financial aid. Uh, she can kind of show you how you can schedule an appointment with her 
Uh, she's awesome at that, so that's also an option for you. But definitely want to encourage you, don't sit back. If you have a question, if you have a concern, please come to our, come by the Harvin Center. I know it's sometimes it's confusing, but when you walk into the Harvin Center, there's kiosks everywhere, kiosk location where you can sign in, put in your cell number, and then you'll receive a text message or uh, a summon that you're being called well, where do I go? There's nobody here. Well, you go up to the second floor uh, in the Harvin Center uh, to into the Ritama room. You have we call what we call the virtual front counter. We have a bunch of offices represented. We have financial aid. We have enrollment services. We have uh, veteran services. We have the registrar. We have uh, disability services. So there's so many people just waiting to help you. If you, if you have some questions, you can meet with somebody uh, over the, the computer monitor and if you need additional help sometimes we can come in and meet with you one on one but it's really simple you sign in at the kiosk they summon you you meet with somebody a representative say in financial aid but if you want more help or you need some one on one uh, some computer help definitely you can uh, they will contact somebody in our office and we'll come out and, and meet with you somewhere that's both safe for you uh, and the staff member so we encourage you uh, to to you know start registering for those classes, start thinking about that spring semester as soon as possible, so that we can ensure that we're getting you all the financial aid benefit that you can get uh, this spring. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and pass it back over to Kayla because she has some more announcements for you. All right, thank you, Joseph. So guys, as mentioned, um, spring regist spring registration is open, and actually tonight. Um, we are having hosting a virtual event, we being Del Mar College, called Discover Del Mar. And so what I'm going to do now is share my screen with you. I think that's my favorite thing to do. Um, I'm going to share my screen with you. Hopefully you guys can see it now. So Discover Del Mar, it is tonight. It begins at 5 p.m. and goes till about 7 p.m. Uh, virtual, so via Microsoft Teams. Um, you can go ahead and pre-register here. Their session topics are going to include a lot of information about admissions. Um, I will be speaking a little bit more in depth about financial aid. And then there's going to be breakout sessions where you guys can visit with representatives from the different um, departments that you are interested in studying. So if you're interested in uh, fine arts, in STEM, in business, education, health science, there is going to be representatives from all of these different departments who are going to be available to answer your questions and provide more information. So definitely, um, you do not want to miss out on the chance um, to get all of this information. And even better and more importantly, you can do it all from the comfort of your home. So make sure that you do join us. And you can always visit delmar.edu forward slash discover delmar for more information. Also, coming up on Friday, let me see. Coming up on Friday, we also have another event called Apply Before the Pie. So this is going to be an event that is also going to provide you guys with some information on how to apply. Um, it's going to be a drive through event. So you can go ahead, drive through, pick up a bag of Del Mar College swag and giveaways. Um, and also they are gonna have an assortment of flavors of little mini pies that they are gonna be handing out to everybody who is in attendance for this drive through event. And so it is gonna take place um, at the CED, <coughs> so the Center for Economic Development. It is on South Staples Street and the address is provided there. Again, it is this Friday and the event is going to be from three to 6 p.m. So definitely stop by if you can. And the best way to get more information on that event is to go to delmar.edu forward slash pi and um, read more on that. So we do encourage you guys to look into these events. Um, as Joseph mentioned, we are here to help you. Um, we, I myself um, definitely can host some virtual meetings if you're interested. Um, I know that I can also, you know, schedule some events over the, I mean, schedule a meeting over the phone if interested. And so what I'm going to do now is take you to our page, the Del Mar College Financial Aid webpage, to show you guys where you can go to see our contact information. So coming down here, you can scroll all the way to the bottom and see our hours of operation and also our phone number, our fax number, and our email address. If you are interested in scheduling a um, virtual 
session. Maybe you want to go over your FAFSA workshop, uh, but don't feel comfortable necessarily coming to campus, but still want that one-on-one -on -one help, let us know. Send us an email to financialaid at delmar.edu, and we will go ahead and set that up so that we can make sure that we are still providing all the support that we can to help you guys in ensuring that you have a smooth transition into Del Mar College. So please make sure to visit us there. Um, again, our phone number for East Campus is located here, West Campus located right here, um, with our hours being 7.30 to 6 at East Campus, 7.30 to 5 West Campus, and then you can see on Fridays, this schedule right here. So um, yeah, definitely do not hesitate to contact us. Um, tuition is due. The first tuition deadline is on December 9th at 6.30. So uh, you're going to want to make sure to register for classes and get your payments secured and everything before then. But again, attending the event tonight, um, attending the event on Friday, and then just making sure that you follow up with us, follow up with your academic advisor, and just allow us to help you with that information, we could definitely help you in making sure that your courses are secured and to see what we can do by that December 9th deadline. So with that being said, I know that was a lot of information. Um, really quick, I'm going to go back to just this website here. Discover Del Mar tonight, beginning at 5 p.m. And then also apply before the pie. My screen is not letting me change over my tab uh, right now, but that event is on Friday from 3 to 6 um, at the CED on South Staples. So I am now going to pass it back to Joseph. And also guys, if anybody has any questions right now, uh, please let us know so that we can assist you with that at this time as well. Thank you, Kayla. So uh, just kind of to recap what we've gone over uh, today, Definitely a lot of great things happening at Del Mar College, and we want to make sure that you as our as our students or, or either future students or current students are part of those uh, those events. So we want to make sure that or concerns or, or issues, don't hesitate to contact us. We are here for you. Um, <clears throat> I know that there's not a lot of uh, you know movement or or people uh, out in the Harvin Center, but definitely. There are people behind the scenes willing and ready to help you. So we don't want, we want to encourage you if you have questions. Um, uh, you know, if you can't make it to campus, definitely like Kayla mentioned, there's some online uh, information uh, that'll help you. You can schedule an appointment. If you send us an email, say, I really don't feel comfortable coming to campus, but I want to see somebody, we'll reach back out to you. Um, uh, listen, so we got another question uh, along the chat line says, uh, is it possible to get my financial aid before December 9th? Uh, un <clears throat> unfortunately, uh, getting it before, since classes don't you know, technically start until January 19th, um, it's possible to be awarded financial aid, but actually to receive a refund, that would not be possible. The policy here at Del Mar is we usually wait until uh, the 12, after the 12th class day before we start releasing those funds, just to make sure that you have the classes you want and you need, and there's really no impact as long as you uh, are, are able to make changes prior to that. It's it's if we release the money before and then changes happen, then sometimes we have to retract money and then it becomes a mess. So definitely, uh, to answer your question, no, you cannot receive your refund before the ninth. Now, <clears throat> we have another question. Um, um, uh, okay, so I think it are, it was already answered, so that's great. Uh, you know, definitely, uh, if you if you need some assistance with, um, you know, say tools or something like that, sometimes you can. Bookstore charging will be available uh, for the spring, uh, but that's in January. Uh, I'm not sure if Kayla knows the dates, uh, but but I don't have the actual dates in front of me. But I I know that it's uh, a week prior to the start of the semester. There's going to be some availability for bookstore charging so definitely you can do that and you can actually contact the bookstore and they'll know exactly uh, you know the date and time when you can charge books against your financial aid before you receive your refund so if you need textbooks or uh, those type of things most definitely you can uh, charge it against your financial aid before uh, the 19th but again folks we just want to encourage you uh, you know you're not alone in this you want to make sure that that, that you're uh, reaching out to us, asking us questions, 
Um, uh, it looks like bookstore charging dates are from January 12th uh, through the 26th. So thank you for that, Kayla. So if, if students, if you need to get books, you'll be able to start getting those on the 12th and we'll just apply it to your financial aid. So definitely, we wanna make sure you have your textbooks before then. Um, how you're gonna be able to pick, pick those up, the bookstore I'm sure will be offering additional guidance later, but if it's similar to what we did in the, in the fall, they're gonna have different options. You can do curbside, you can, do, you can come into the bookstore and pick up your textbooks. Uh, they're gonna have various uh, uh, ways that you can do that. And I think you may, may, may be even mailing your books uh, to your house if, if you're uh, interested. So bottom line, we're here to serve, we're here to help. So we want you, want to encourage you to call us, email us, or come by the Harvin Center, or even on the West Campus, if you're a West Campus student, uh, there is virtual help as well, uh, where you can be summoned and, and someone will come on the screen and help answer your questions or uh, uh, any questions you may have. So uh, for me, that's all I have. I'm gonna wrap it up for one final statement from Kayla. Uh, and we'll be we'll be good to go for another session. All right, guys. So that's all the information that I have for you. Um, again, discover Del Mar tonight at 5 p.m. Apply before the pie. Our drive-through events. You will not be getting off your cars. Uh, please make sure you bring your mask. Have that on. Uh, but you will be. It, it is a drive-through event where you will be given some Del Mar College swag and of course a nice little mini pie so that you can enjoy and that is going to be from 3 to 6 p.m. this Friday November 20th so um, with that being said I mean again spring registration is open uh, please contact uh, Del Mar or attend tonight's event for more information on registering for courses if you have not done your FAFSA it is not too late if you're just tuning in you missed the first part of um, our segment, pretty much, it's not too late to do your FAFSA. You can go to studentaid.gov um, to complete the application, and hopefully um, we can do our best in, in ex expediting that uh, processing of your financial aid, your FAFSA application to get you awarded soon. So thank you guys so, so much for attending. Uh, make sure that you stay safe, and we will see you guys next time. Thank you.